Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for telling my family that if I can't bring my newborn to my father's birthday, then they won't see my family again? I, female 24, and my husband, 32, recently just welcomed our daughter into the world four months ago. My daughter was supposed to have a cousin that was a month older than her, but my brother, 30, and his wife, 31, unfortunately had a stillborn at seven months, and she had to give birth to her dead child. This was very hard for my brother and his wife because she had many miscarriages and everyone thought this would be their rainbow baby. After the loss, they both grieved so much to the point my brother lost his job and they ended up moving in with our parents. It was now expected of me to never talk about my pregnancy when I visited, and I was also expected to wear baggy clothes to hide my belly, which I didn't do much because my brother and his wife were very cold to me whenever I visited. This became worse when I gave birth and my husband decided to post a typical video of the baby's hand wrapped around the father's finger. It was adorable, and honestly, we were just stuck in the moment of finally having our daughter with us. My parents didn't come to see my daughter at all because they were busy consoling my brother's wife after they saw my husband's post. It did hurt, but I was lucky to have my husband and his whole family by my side. That being being said, my family hasn't seen my daughter not once since she was born. Whenever they host dinners, it's expected that I leave my baby home and I'm banned from talking about her or the challenges I face every day. I've been fed up with this arrangement since it started. My father's birthday is coming up and everybody was talking about it in our family group chat and I asked it if I could bring daughter's name because my husband would not be able to watch her that day because of work. I was, of course, hit with how they weren't ready and I was selfish to bring it up, especially since they were still grieving. I calmly told them that it was hard that I can't talk to my own family about something so life-changing and I was just expected to hide it, which resulted in me saying that they were the selfish ones. I ended up saying that I was done, and if my daughter wasn't allowed, then they would no longer be hearing from me, because I was tired of accommodating them and not getting anything but loneliness in return. Now I've been getting messages from my parents that I was stressing my brother and his wife out, and I should be more mature, but they didn't seem to care when I was struggling, so am I the asshole? <laughs> We've talked about this before, and it's an unimaginable pain to go through that, right? Like it's, it's a scar they're going to carry forever and it's going to take time and it's going to be tough. However, it doesn't mean that the world is going to stop spinning. It doesn't mean that people are going to stop having babies. It doesn't mean that other people who are having children aren't allowed to celebrate that. It doesn't mean that they aren't allowed to bring their kids around. Whenever you start taking your trauma and forcing other people to live their lives differently to accommodate you, you're the asshole. I'm so glad that OP stood up for herself here and said, oh, look, hey, guess what? My baby exists. I have a kid. You haven't met her yet, so you don't know. You guys have chosen to pretend like your grandchild doesn't exist because you're accommodating to someone who went through trauma. And I understand that, but there's accommodating and then there's there's just pretending. And at this point, they're pretending. They're pretending like the rest of the world doesn't exist. Pretending like this baby doesn't exist isn't going to make it not exist. At some point, rent's going to come due on that. At some point, they're going to have to face it. If they're not comfortable with it, then they probably need to go somewhere else. They can choose not to be around it, and that's a choice they can make for themselves, but forcing other people to do things to accommodate your trauma is bullshit. You can choose to remove yourself from the situation. You cannot choose to force someone else to do something differently to accommodate your feelings. Maybe I'm being too hard on this, but it just seems like such horseshit to expect someone who just had a baby to just pretend like that kid doesn't exist and shame on the grandparents here for going along with this crap. It's their grandchild who now, right from the rip, have decided they aren't going to have a relationship with this kid ever. What kind of grandparent chooses not to go see their new grandbaby? That's a change in behavior. That's not a choice they would have otherwise made. I don't, I hope. It's sad. It is sad. It's sad for everybody because I, I fortunately, I don't understand the pain that they're going through we have had a fertility journey navy thunder was an ivf baby we we get the emotional struggle of going through fertility issues we understand that but expecting the rest of the world to accommodate you through it is horseshit you can make your own choices you cannot make choices for other people not going to put the uh, was it brother-in-law and his wife not not putting them on the scale we're not going to do that but the question here was Am I the astronaut for telling my family that if I can't bring my newborn to my father's birthday, then they won't see my family again? No, NTI. You stood up. 
you stood up for your child. And hopefully this can create enough pain with the grandparents specifically to create some change and wake them up. Hopefully the world is not going to change for you. You can make your own choices to avoid things that will trigger that trauma. If you, that is your individual choice. When you start choosing for other people, it's when you become the asshole. I don't think OP is an asshole for standing up for herself and for her child. Not at all. It has to happen at some point. And this is more about, to me, this is more about the grandparents. This is about the grandparents allowing this to take over their lives. And I understand they're living with them and that that's an additional complication, but they're going to have to wake up at some point and realize that they're sacrificing a relationship with their grandchild to accommodate someone's pain. 